Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Today on the Kid Projects, we're going to be making pinwheels. You can make these out of pretty much anything. This shaft here on the tiny guy is a skewer. The rest of these are dowel rods. These three here are made out of manila folders. Uh, manila is probably my favorite material, although he likes chocolate. So you're going to need a manila folder or cardstock, some scissors, a couple of paper clips, some glue, and some pliers. Well, now I'm folding my folder diagonally and lining up the opposite edge here with one of those creases. You could also just line it up with the opposite edge of your material. And now I'm cutting along the edges of my fold here, and this will give me a perfect square. Then I'll fold across the other way so that I have an X running down the middle. And now you cut along your diagonal lines here towards the center, but make sure you stop short by a half inch to an inch. That way your blades don't fall off. And then you put a little dab of glue on every other corner. Then fold each corner in opposite pairs across the center line so that the point touches the spot where your cut stopped on the other half. And then once you've folded all four of them across the center line, press down in the center for a couple minutes or just place something on it for a while so you can walk away and do something else while it dries. Now I'm using paper clips for my shaft, but you can use any number of things as long as it's rigid. The key is that you need to space the pinwheel a certain distance from the rod that's going to support the thing because you don't want the blades to hit the rod to hit the support while it's spinning. You also don't want the pinwheel to fall off the front of the shaft. I like to use paper clips. Let me show you a quick way to do this. We're going to start by bending a little 90 degree angle on our paper clip. This is going to be the shaft that the thing actually spins on. Then we need to make some sort of a standoff to make sure that the pinwheel doesn't bump up against the mast as it spins. I'm simply going to turn a little loop here and that will in effect create a washer for me. Just go around like so with the pliers. Then when you get back around to the top, straighten it back out such that it is parallel to your shaft. Then make a 90 degree bend down. This is going to loop up over the top of the mast and then down around the back. Then we need to make a little loop so that we can actually grab on to our mast. I'm going to bend it 90 degrees again and then fold it around my pliers in a circular shape. That way I can slip my dowel rod right in this little section here. Then I slip it on over my dowel rod and then clamp it down with, real hard with the pliers. That way it won't fall off. Then we need to make a little device to keep the pinwheel from falling off the front of the shaft. If you've seen little spring clamps that hold those weights on to the uh, bars in the gym, this is kind of what we're making here. So I'll bend a 90 degree angle, then we'll make a little loop. Then we'll build another 90 degree angle. So then now you have two little handles that when you squeeze them, the diameter of this loop that we just turned will get larger. And when you let go, the spring force will close up the loop and apply tension around your shaft. Now the one other thing you might want to do is create a little washer that goes just behind your spring clip. Otherwise your spring clip might catch on the seams of the pinwheel as it spins. So we're going to make a little washer, simply cut a circle out of your same cardstock or manila folder, punch a hole in the center, and put it in front of the pinwheel before you put your spring clip on. Well thanks for yeah. watching. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. That's right. <laughs> Good job. Well, you can see how easy that really was, and the kids have a lot of fun with them. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really uh, appreciate one, it. One, one just stay up, I know. Well, it's not very windy up here.